Hey y'all, uh, Marvin here. I uh, got the Wisco rig behind me. Gonna do a little bit of work on the Wisco rig today, but we have a backup rig here that uh, we've had for a year or so. Um, never set it up. Also, sorry if there's wind in the camera. You know, I can't do a how-to video or anything without the wind blowing. But we're gonna set this up. Uh, got some parts here, and uh, we're gonna put it put it together. I'm gonna do a step-by-step -step through there of the parts, how it works, how all that works, why it's there. Um, hopefully have everything to set it up not any promises that it's all gonna be today um, might have to do it in pieces if I don't have all the parts that's how it goes when you're putting an asphalt rig together but um, yeah we'll have a backup rig for this one we're gonna put this one together so come along with us all right so I got the boy wonder here I'm gonna learn to put this thing together uh, first thing is I draw a diagram coming from the outlet to our filter basket from the filter basket to the pump this is a surge bottle we're going to build it up higher though and then uh, this goes to the spray hose and this is going to get turned into a two inch return to here um, do yourself a favor draw it out with all the pieces i don't know if i have my diagram anywhere but draw it out with what you'll need and how it goes that'll help you you usually never get it in your first shot so um, then lay it all out and Get to go into town we got hose clamps we are going to have to cut some green hose to put on some nipples here to make things work and the green hose will also go from here to here we have a gator grip right here i think or right here so that we can unhook the whole section and there'll be another gator grip which i'll show you guys in a little bit to unhook this section so we remove everything rinse water through it winterize everything and put it in the shop there for the winter Yeah. All right, so you can see this got a nipple here. We're going to put a piece of green hose there. The nipple will go, this will go into the piece of green hose. And then this will screw on to the end of this. This is the gator jaw. It'll go in there and lock. So let's do that quick. So this is a green ag hose. Uh, you can find that at Menards or Tractor Supply or something like that. Um, most of the time when I'm building a unit, I'll put oil here and in here to help that go on. It's a tight fit. We'll do the same thing on this end and we'll put hose clamps on each end. So I'm going to use this to dip in the oil and put on here. But first of all, we're going to put this together first because if this was in this hose, it's going to be really hard to grip this and hold on to it while we're trying to spin this on. So we're going to do that separately and get it together. Then we'll put this together and that together. All right, so we're going to have to line this up a little bit better. We're gonna tilt it up just a little bit and hopefully get this to line up with this so it get grips in there. All right, a little bit of sweat. It's all good though. Been a minute since we had to hook an outfit up, but I never did a walkthrough. I had people always ask me for one, so this is a very thorough one. Hopefully this will be up on Blacktop Banner forever. I'll just be able to send a link to people. You guys can post a link into the group and whatnot. But there it is, that's step one. Sorry about the wind in the camera, but we are hooked into the filter pot. Now we're gonna hook from the filter pot to the pump, and then we'll hook the pump to the tank, and then the spray wand to the pump. Maybe we'll put some water in it today and you guys can see it spray. All right, so as you can see, the angle isn't right for us. These are the parts that we bought. These are spare parts we had. Eli and I need to get this to get out to here so that it has a straight shot at this with the nipple on it so that that's lined up and then that return can go up there.
All right, now we gotta get this in between there. All right, so we're all connected from here to that side, from here to the pump. Now we gotta work on how we're gonna do this. More than likely we'll do the surge tank and then a return up and over into the top up there and the hose and out. All right, so we kept this. We're gonna put this on top of it for an added surge. So this should be a surge tank, should be okay. Uh, we've had one before that was just this big that did fine with an inch and a half pump before. So we're gonna give this one a shot, should be all good. We'll put a cap on this, adjust all this for a two inch return and then the hose. So let's keep going. All right, so we left this here at an inch and a half, upgraded to two inch. This is our valve that's gonna to go to our return to the top. And then this is gonna get reduced down to three quarter for the spray hose. So we're gonna put this together with that gator grip at the top and that'll be it for the return. All right, so we didn't end up using a nipple here. This old piece of green hose had a uh, threaded part on it. So we just put that into the valve and then connected that to that gator grip up on top. And now we'll finish this out and put this valve here after reducing it down. And this will be the valve that goes to the spray hose. All right, so this is the valve. Your hose will go in here and then we'll put the wand on wand on huh, never said that before i guess but it's all connected then you would open it up and you'd have a sealer to your wand let's get it hooked up all right so this is our hose we got from liberty supply sam and mike it has swivel ends your hose should have swivel ends on both if it doesn't um you're going to want the swivel end on your hose end and you would have to turn this whole damn thing but if you can get your hose with swivels on both ends we're going to wrench this in then we'll put the wand on be ready to go all right, so this is hooked up now to the unit, and we're just going to put this into the spray one and be good to go. All right, so spray one's hooked up to the hose stretched way out there. Spray tip is in right there. Almost ready for a test run. Here we go. All right, so wand's hooked up over there as you can see the only thing we have left is to put a bushing here to connect the air hose to here and then we should be good to go we we'll pumping in a minute we'll show you guys the air is hooked up compressors there we're gonna get started but we opened the lid there's some junk in there so Eli is in there cleaning out so if you're getting an older tank make sure you clean everything out Obviously, it would get caught in the basket, but before we put any water in to test it tonight, we want to just have it clean. One other side note, Eli is getting ready to put some water in. This has a pressure regulator here, and this is what we're going to use to regulate the pressure. But you can go to Harbor Freight or wherever and get an inline one that you would need two air hoses for. Mount it somewhere. I'd probably mount it here. And then it would have one going in, one coming out back into this, and then it would have a knob with a pressure gauge on it. We'll go over here and kind of show you which one is over here. Because there isn't one on that compressor, they have one in line here. So that's what one would look like. All right, so we're hooked up. Eli is going to turn it on and let it rip. Open it up. What's going on? Maybe it's because our valve ain't open. Ready?
All right, so as you can see, we're filthy. Um, but we got it built, and you've seen Eli spraying with it. Uh, this is just a hose rack that we had up here. Might have to rethink that a little bit, the mufflers right there and whatnot. But um, put a, a block off kit kind of right here, just a plug. Uh, there was a couple leaks. You seen them? Yeah. But they're just water leaks. We should be able to, uh, they should just plug up with sealer. It happened every time we've ever put one together. So that's it for us. That's that's the video on how to build your seal coat rig from scratch. Uh, Walkthrough, tutorial, DIY. People have been asking me to do it for years. And now Eli's old enough. We are able to do it and build it. And there it is. Now we got to go make money. Yeah. All right. Peace.